We're back at you with NFL free agency breaking news action for the Washington Commanders as Washington has poached yet another former Dallas Cowboy, this time locking up center Tyler Biotish uh, to a three-year contract worth $30 million total for a grand total per season of $10 million. Really, really big deal here for the Washington Commanders. They signed Dorrance Armstrong earlier. Now they're signing Tyler Biotish. It seems like Dan Quinn is bringing the entire crew here to the nation's capital. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now because when we get more updates throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, whenever the Commanders make a big move, we are going to have you covered with a breaking news video. This is already our second breaking news video of the day. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now to never miss our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Washington Commanders 2024 offseason. So now let's get into Tyler Biotish, the new center of your Washington Commanders. 69.2 pro football focus grade last year. That was the highest of his career. And he was ranked 14th among 36 NFL centers in 2023. Once again, it's another connection to the Dallas Cowboys uh, that's going to be heading over to play for the former D.C. there in Dallas and Dan Quinn, the new head coach here at the Washington Commanders. And then the contract details here, three years, $30 million, $10 million per season for Tyler Biotish, a very solid center. I like this move for the Washington Commanders. It, uh, I mean, it's definitely clear that Dan Quinn knew which Dallas Cowboys free agents he wanted to bring in. And he knew at what price he wanted to bring them in. He obviously believes in Tyler Biotis, somebody that comes from the Wisconsin Badgers. We all know that the pedigree that these Badger offensive linemen have in the National Football League. And he had a very, very good season with the Dallas Cowboys last year, the best of his career. The career trajectory is going up, and the commanders feel good enough about him to give him a three-year deal and pay him $10 million per season to be their starting center. So let me know down there in the comments section, what is your one-word reaction to the news of signing Tyler Biotish as the next center of the Washington Commanders? Let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comments section while I tell you about our sponsor today at Prize picks football season may be over, folks, but that doesn't mean you can't still have fun. You can get on the action when, when it comes to the college basketball and professional basketball game with our friends at Prize Picks. When you download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use car code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today, whether it's tournament season in college basketball or the fight for NBA playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments every single day this time of the year. Get in on the excitement with our friends at Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. And with quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types, and sport types for that matter, you can do hockey, you can do NASCAR, you can do NBA, you can do college basketball, you can do whatever you guys want. If there's sports being played, you they have prize picks for that. Really good stuff there. And you might be asking yourself, Jack, how does prize picks work? Well, here's how you play. You pick two to six players, and if they'll go for more or less than their prize picks projection, you can even win up to 25 times your money on any entry. This is actually one of our uh, NHL projections here at Chat Sports. You can do points. You can do assists. You can do goals. You can do saves. You can do ice time. You can do, I think, even like penalty time as well. So they've got everything that you could possibly want on the Prize Picks app. And with Prize Picks, it takes 30 I and mean, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your pick. So get started right now. Download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today. Again, download the uh, Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more or pick less. It's that easy with our friends at Prize Picks. So, my one word is pricey. That's definitely a question mark here with Tyler Biotish, who Pro Football Focus was projecting to make $7 million per season. The commanders are ponying up the dough here $10 million per season for somebody that has never ranked above 14th overall, according to Pro Football Focus grading in the National Football League among centers. So last year here in 2023 is Pro Football Focus stats. Over 1,000 snaps at center as their starting center last year. 68.6 overall grade. Three sacks allowed. So at least you know, you know that he's a good pass protector. Right, That's something that is going to be very important to new offensive coordinator 
Uh, Cliff Kingsbury is a center that can protect the quarterback. Obviously, the Washington Commanders believe in Tyler Biotish's ability to do that. He did allow 11 hurries, and uh, he did have only three penalties. So he's not really a penalized player. He's not really somebody that gives up a bunch of sacks. He's somebody that's very solid and definitely still a younger player that can really play along the offensive line for the future. And Lord knows the Washington Commanders need solid offensive line help. Tyler Biotish provides that for you. However, this does seem like a lot for a guy like Biotish. $10 million per season for a low-value position like center. Now, obviously, the commanders have the cash to be able to throw around for a center at $10 million, but there were still some pretty darn good centers on the NFL free agency market, but it did seem like the commanders had their sights set on Tyler Biotish. Lloyd Cushenberry, who I actually pegged as the perfect fit for the Washington commanders, signed with the Tennessee Titans earlier today. So I think after Cushenberry signed his contract in Tennessee, they were kind of going to their secondary option here, which was Tyler Biotish, and they were willing to pay him $10 million per season here uh, to be their next starting center. And that really is the thing, is that he's going to be the starter here, and I do not expect the Washington Commanders to draft a center in the 2024 NFL Draft, at least with the intention of starting them. So you can say goodbye to Jackson Powers Johnson or Zach Frazier or Cedric Van Pran or Bo Limmer out of Arkansas. I don't think center is going to be on their radar. You don't sign Tyler Biotish to a three-year, $30 million deal if you don't plan to start him for the foreseeable future. So I do not think center is going to be on their radar personally. So grade the signing for me down there in the comment section. Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. For me personally, guys, I'm going to give it a B minus. All right. I think he's a very solid center. I think he'll get the job done. I think that he was a lot better than what they had previously and what's currently on the roster. So in that sense, it's good. But I do think they probably slightly overpaid for Biotish. And, you know, although that's okay, you got some cap space to work with. At the end of the day, man, I do think that you probably overpaid a little bit. So I'll go B minus. So here's the thing, guys. It's also rumored that the commanders are, are targeting Jordan Lewis, cornerback formerly with the Dallas Cowboys. So we're going to have you guys covered with breaking news coverage. If that signing goes down, that is the rumor. They uh, could be filling out that nickel cornerback slot for the Washington Commanders in 2024. Jordan Lewis is somebody that has played with Joe Witt Jr. in his secondary room when he was the secondary coach there with Dallas. And then also he played in Dan Quinn's defense. So that's another name, another cowboy that the Washington Commanders could be poaching today. So make sure you click that subscribe button because there's going to be more breaking news coverage all throughout the week with the players that the Commanders are going to be signing. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now to never miss a video.